I began my daily walking workout regimen far before I ever successfully broke up with alcohol, but I know that that habit and that time alone gave me exactly what I needed to actually believe in my own capabilities to cut off alcohol entirely. It may sound silly, but if you spent an extended period of time drinking heavily or heavily addicted, it's likely that you haven't spent a whole lot of time thinking about yourself, thinking about yourself in the way that you need to think about yourself to actually find success in life. So by taking yourself on a walk every day, you give yourself, what, five, 10, 15, however minutes you can go alone. You're outside in nature, connected to the universe, and you're able to look up at the sky and think, wow, I'm on a spinning rock in the middle of space. My problems are not as big as I feel like they are. I strongly believe that a big reason I myself continued to drink and escape with alcohol and a lot of my clients and the people that I talk to is because we don't like sitting by ourselves. We haven't given ourselves the right time and the right space to actually listen to our thoughts and create new beliefs. For me, I used alcohol and then of course, alcohol related activities to keep myself distracted from having to deal with what was going on up here. And I know at first it might feel like ripping off the band-aid, going for walks every day and thinking about all of the shame or the guilt or the embarrassment you have. But over time, through conscious thought control, choosing to think of good, saying, I don't wanna think of the bad anymore. I wanna think about the good of myself. Through practicing that on your daily walks, it's gonna get easier and easier and more automatic. You're quite literally reprogramming your brain to look for the positive. And these daily walks give you the structure and the environment to find that success in the activity. Here's a pro tip. Start this habit or start forming this habit with morning walks. When you get out before 10 a.m., the sunlight exposure can help with vitamin D levels, which elevate mood, but also regulate your circadian rhythm. And as you're trying to feel better mentally and physically, your circadian rhythm is gonna play a vital role in helping you sleep with quality sleep instead of just sleeping with alcohol in your system. You're actually gonna emotionally process things and you're gonna be able to feel stress-free throughout your day. Studies also show that when you put yourself through physical stress in the morning, you're able to handle mental stress with ease throughout your day. You start to look at the problems that might have caused a real big tizzy for your life in the past and say, you know what, because I sweat, because I really pushed myself and I got that confidence, I actually think I can handle this and I don't need to drink. It really feeds into the success mechanism of your subconscious mind and your physical health, which we definitely want to pay attention to as we cut back or quit drinking entirely. This is extra magical. I want to share just this side note that along the journey of all of the miles that I've walked, I think hundreds, if not thousands of miles that I've walked, I have quite literally achieved every goal that I've set and envisioned and fantasized about on my walks. It's like my own manifestation time, which can sound, of course, a little woo woo if you haven't practiced it before. But the more you get involved with this daydream idea, this fantasy on your walks, the more magical and the more magical magnetic you get in actually attracting those things into your life. You'll find that at the end of your walk, you are just buzzing with energy and optimism and what everybody's looking for, motivation, to do the things you need to do because you spent that time without distractions, out in nature, letting the sun graze your skin and actually giving yourself permission to daydream and fantasize. So when you're starting off, just aim for progress over perfection, of course, and go for maybe five to 10 minutes in the morning. Over time, you're gonna see that you don't have to do it anymore because you want to do it. And you'll be able to build up to 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and even an hour. Or you can even break it up into several walks throughout your day. I remember times in my life where I went for over 20 walks a day because I was just trying to really train my mind to look for other stress management tools and other ways to handle triggers. So there's not a, a deadline or a limit on how many walks you can do a day. Just get outside. Remember that Dr. Jordan Peterson counts nature and the connection to the universe as being one of the largest success mechanisms in recovery. So 
add this to your daily routine and start small. Feel free to start with that five to 10 minute walk throughout your day and add in multiple if you need it, but don't feel like you need to go for an hour right out of the gate. Remember that it's progress over perfection and as you progress, you can actually make this harder and get your blood flowing even more, add some ankle weights, wear a backpack. The opportunities are endless, but in honest truth, the basic principle is get your hiney outside and walk. So I want to know what your goal is with your daily walks in the comments below. Share with the family and we're here to celebrate you. Make sure you subscribe for more out of the box strategies like this, things that you're not gonna hear in the 12 steps or AA, things surrounding nutrition and fitness and mindset and the principles that you are a magical human being gifted with a mind. So anything is possible. All in all, I'm helping you think different in order to drink different or never again, because I want you to be living the best of the rest of your life.